morning from York. In this video, I'm going to be exploring the York Town Walls. These were originally put up by the Romans and uh, little bits of them are left. Most of the town walls date from the 13th and 14th century and I'm just climbing up one of the towers now and apparently the walls go all, nearly all the way around the city. completed the first stage of that walk and I want to find part of the old Roman tower. There's one nearby, I think it's in a park and I'm just not sure exactly where but I think I'm close. Who's that? George Walker Milburn. No, he's not Roman. As you can see on this map here, I started at Monk Gate and I've walked around on the Roman parts and now I'm going to try and find the Multangular Tower and it's in the gardens just across the road. So that, that sort of completes that, that half of the Roman walls. The rest of the town walls go around further south, and that's the medieval walls, but I've been walking on the Roman part so far. So just been walking on those, that part of the walls there, and the walls now continue this way. So I'm thinking that uh, tower that I want to see is down that way somewhere. And right on. Go. Nearly clocked those people in the head with my camera. I should have tried harder. Before I go on, I just found this plaque here and it says this gateway was broken through the Abbey Wall July 1503 in honour of the Princess Margaret. So they busted through part of the wall just to in honour of Princess Margaret in 1503. It's good to be the king. of St. Mary's Abbey. I was just reading a little bit about it. It was founded in 1055, the dissolution. St. Mary's, the largest and richest Benedictine establishment in the north of England and one of the largest... It was closed down and subsequently destroyed. So during the uh, the dissolution of the abbeys by Henry VIII, this was one of the places that, uh, that got the chop. Look at this asshole with his long hair reading a book in a park, thinking he's cool. Do not climb this wall. Can I climb that one? All right. Found it. Still a bit. 
Just left the Roman Tower back in the gardens and there's more of the wall just across there but you can't walk on that bit and we're coming to the river so I'll walk across this bridge and then uh, pick up the wall on the other side. There's a sign there it says Dame Judy Dench Walk. Why on earth would this be named after her? Maybe she lived here. Maybe she got drunk here. Maybe she fell into the river here. Uh, but I've got to get to the other side, so I've got to go back. mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. What a strange person. Just had my beer and now rejoining the wall. This is what happens when you run out of funding for historical sites. If they just raised another 50 pounds, we'd have some information boards here. That actually looks like a mot. I know there's supposed to be another castle around here. Clifford's Tower is further up. But that looks like, I think it was a bale or bailey castle. There would have been a timber fort up the top there. Just had a nice trip. This is artificially constructed. Yep, standing on a mot. There we go. Bale Hill was a mot. <laughs> Climbing the mot of Clifford's Tower and I have my English Heritage membership card. It's the first time I've used it. Clifford's Tower. Wow. Isn't this great? It's another one of those places I've read about so much and now I'm here. Let's see if I can find it. I don't know why I'm looking for my hotel now, but anyway, I can see it. There's a travel lodge. Now I can see this place from my hotel room. Fuck. Mm. Oh, we can go up even higher. No exit in the event of fire. It's not on fire.
doesn't really seem to be the big touristy part of the wall along this section but I've got to do the whole thing you know I thought this was only going to take a couple of hours I've been walking this wall all day and having a wonderful time the sections of wall don't have railings on the side here there was one bit earlier on not far from where I started and I thought oh well they just haven't done a little bit there but there's huge areas where you can just walk right off the edge admittedly it's not very far down you won't really hurt yourself yeah oh wow Put you right out onto the road. Literally, another step and I'd be in the traffic. More stairs going back up. That's the thing about it, you walk along the walls and then you get to a gate and you go downstairs, walk across the road, and then up the stairs on the other side of the road to continue the walk along the walls. So the wall ends at least temporarily just behind me there at the red tower this ow, this area here was apparently a lake it was uh, formed the normans were doing something it became a marshy swampy area and eventually dried out in the 17th or 18th century the wall picks up just a little bit further along You're right. So this is the starting point where I began at 9 o'clock this morning. It's now about 3.30 in the afternoon. And what a great journey that was. Oh man, I didn't think it would take all day, but it did, and that's cool. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. I'll see you again soon.